5th of April and after the uh, incident with Rusty vomiting up his food I remembered that and read up on the internet that you should take things slowly so I went back to, to the beginning and started again with a small amount and fed him just slowly increasing amounts and he's been fine. The trouble is that in this part of the world it's very difficult to obtain uh, fresh uh, meat supplies uh, for, for pets. Um, all the big suppliers seem to be down in England and uh, the, the other suppliers are in big pet stores in, in the cities and so therefore I'm depending on, on a carrier delivering the stuff to me and uh, the, the cost of the carrier is, is almost as, as dear as the, as expensive as the meat that you're ordering. So there was a great difficulty there but it, it's wonderful how the Lord supplies, isn't it? Because on Facebook I came across a, a young couple in West Fife and they are starting uh, at the beginning of May uh, to deliver uh, supplies of fresh food all over Scotland and the surprise surprise are even willing to come and deliver to Tarbert. So isn't it amazing how the Lord not only guides but, but puts in place provision for what he wants us to do. Uh, in the meantime I'd uh, ordered a complete raw uh, food from a company uh, down in England and um, despite the fact that the carriers said that it would be delayed and they had visions of the, the frozen food arriving completely thawed, despite all that the Lord saw to it that it was de actually delivered exactly on time despite all their doubts and fears and uh, Rusty has been enjoying that uh, in these last few days. The uh, the lady that advised me about Rusty's supplements um, quoted uh, a, a cardiologist in America who was advising various supplements for his human patients and uh, there were four in particular and of course I could, couldn't afford to to buy all the four immediately. So I started them on the first one and then sort of wondered when I would be able to get the next one. But I did read that afterwards that uh, this cardiologist actually did exactly that. Um, he started his patients on one supplement and then uh, saw how that worked and then added another. So perhaps that's why the Lord didn't permit me uh, to buy everything at once. And it just made me think again how wonderful the Lord is and how good and how gracious and how he directs in every step of the way. And of course I had by that time reached Psalm 146 in my daily readings. And uh, I read there in verses 1 and 2, Praise ye the Lord, praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live will I praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. And I thought, yes, that is what I must do. Praise and thank the Lord for all his goodness to me. I'm so undeserving. So often I'm like the publican saying, God be merciful to me, a sinner. And yet still he is gracious and good. And I should praise him for that. And in verse 3 he says, Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. Trust in God. And that was another lesson that I needed to remember. In verse 5 he says, Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God. And yes, that is true. How happy we are who have our hope in God's help and not in the help of man. And finally in verse 10 he says, The Lord shall reign forever, even thy God, O Zion, and to all generations. Praise ye the Lord. Once again, praise the Lord. Amen. Sunday the 7th of April arrived 
and I've noted down Psalm 8 verse 9. When I look it up, I've highlighted one word in verse 1 and verse 9. And that is our. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. And in verse 9, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Isn't it wonderful? He's our Lord. And the morning service opened uh, with a hymn and these two verses really spoke to me. Oh, make but trial of his love. Experience will decide how blessed are thee and only thee who in his truth confide. Fear him, ye saints, and you will then have nothing else to fear. Make you his service your delight. Your wants shall be his care. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. 